Have you ever wondered how deep the vagina really is? The science behind female anatomy? Is it a fixed size? Or does it change depending on arousal, childbirth, or even different partners? Welcome to my channel where we break down the science of sensual wellness and healthy living. If you want to truly understand the human body and elevate your intimate knowledge, make sure to subscribe and join the journey. The truth about vaginal depth might surprise you. It's far more dynamic than most people think. Let's dive into the fascinating science behind it. The vagina, one of the most fascinating and misunderstood parts of the human body. You've probably heard different answers about how deep it is. Some say just a few inches, while others believe it can stretch endlessly. But what does science actually say? In this video, we'll explore the true depth of the vagina, how it changes, and what that means for pleasure, intimacy, and health. Let's start with the facts. In its normal, unaroused state, the average vaginal canal measures 3 to 4 inches, 7.5 to 10 centimeters, deep. However, this is not a fixed number. The vagina is highly elastic and designed to expand when needed. A study published in the International Urogynecology Journal found that during sexual arousal, the vagina lengthens and expands, reaching up to 5 to 7 inches, 12 to 17 centimeters. This process, called tenting, happens as the cervix lifts slightly and the vaginal walls stretch to accommodate penetration. I know that many of you ask why the vagina expands, the science of vagina elasticity. Here's the answer. The vagina isn't just a passive structure. It's made up of muscular, flexible tissue that can stretch and contract. This ability is why women can comfortably accommodate different sizes of penis during intimacy and why the vagina is capable of expanding dramatically during childbirth. A 2015 study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that vaginal elasticity depends on hormonal changes, muscle tone, and arousal levels. Higher estrogen levels lead to better elasticity, while aging and menopause can reduce flexibility. Now, let's look at depth versus pleasure. Does size really matter? Here's where things get really interesting. While the vaginal canal can stretch, most of its nerve endings are concentrated in the first one to two inches from the entrance. This is why external stimulation, like clitoral contact, is often more pleasurable than deep penetration alone. A 2014 study in the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that deep penetration alone doesn't always correlate with pleasure. The angle, rhythm, and emotional connection play a bigger role. This means that when it comes to intimacy, technique, and stimulation, matter more than sheer depth. Now let's look at how vaginal depth changes over time. Vaginal depth isn't static. It changes throughout a woman's life. Here's how. During puberty, estrogen levels rise and the vaginal canal develops fully by late teens. During arousal and pregnancy, hormones cause temporary expansion, increasing depth. At the time of menopause, lower estrogen can lead to vaginal atrophy, making tissues thinner and less elastic. A 2020 study in Menopause Journal found that hormone replacement therapy, HRT, can help maintain vaginal elasticity in postmenopausal women. Now let's look at some of the myths and misconceptions about vaginal depth. When it comes to vaginal depth, there are many myths and misconceptions that can lead to unrealistic expectations and misunderstandings about female anatomy. Let's debunk some of the most common myths. Myth 1. The vagina is extremely deep. Many people assume the vagina is a long, deep tunnel. In reality, the average vaginal depth is about 3 to 4 inches, 7.5 to 10 centimeters, 
When unstimulated, and it can expand to 4 to 5 inches, 10 to 12 centimeters, or more when aroused due to the process known as tenting. Myth 2. A bigger penis means more pleasure. Some believe that a woman needs a large penis for satisfaction. However, the most sensitive nerve endings are concentrated in the first one to two inches of the vaginal canal, particularly around the clitoris and G-spot. Deeper penetration can be pleasurable for some, but size isn't the ultimate factor in pleasure. Myth 3. The vagina is a straight tube. The vagina is not a straight tunnel, but a flexible, muscular canal that tilts at an angle. Its shape and depth can vary depending on factors like arousal, childbirth, and even individual anatomy. Myth 4. The vagina stretches out permanently after childbirth. While the vagina does stretch during childbirth, it has elasticity and muscle tone that allows it to return to its original size over time. Kegel exercises can help strengthen vaginal muscles. Myth 5. Deep penetration always feels good. Some women enjoy deep penetration while others find it uncomfortable or even painful, especially if the cervix is sensitive. Every woman's experience is different and communication with a partner is key. Myth 6. The vagina has no limit. There is a limit to how deep penetration can go. The cervix marks the end of the vaginal canal, and excessive force can cause discomfort or pain. Myth 7. Virgins have a smaller or tighter vagina. Vaginal tightness is not about virginity. It's about muscle tone. The vaginal muscles can contract and relax, and they are capable of accommodating different penis sizes without permanent changes. Understanding vaginal depth and anatomy helps debunk these myths and promotes healthier, more informed discussions about intimacy. Every woman's body is unique, and what matters most is comfort, pleasure, and communication in intimate relationships. Strengthening the pelvic floor muscles with Kegel exercises can help restore vaginal tightness and improve sensation. So, how deep is the vagina? The answer is, it depends. In its resting state, it's about 3 to 4 inches, but with arousal, it can stretch up to 7 inches or more. The real key to intimacy isn't depth. It's understanding, knowledge, and mastery, communication, and connection. If you found this video enlightening, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and explore more content on intimacy, sensual wellness, and sexual health. Until next time, stay informed, stay empowered. Don't forget to turn on the notification for more videos.